Hey guys, what's up? This is Place the Movie Fan, and when using ice type moves, most people prefer using a water type Pokemon instead of an ice type Pokemon. And you know what? I don't blame them. Because defensively, ice is the worst type. But as an attacking type, ice is fucking awesome. It's strong against four types. Which is great! Now let's compare the ice type to two other types which are great attacking types. And those are fire and fighting. Fighting is the best physical based attacking type while fire is the best special based attacking type. And you know what fighting and fire have in common? They both have a good amount of resistances. Fire has fucking six resistances, which is a lot. And fighting has three, which isn't a lot. But the fact that fighting is resistance to bug as well as rock is fucking awesome. Now ice is only resistant to itself. Currently ice is the worst defensive type. But you know what? It doesn't have to be. Not only is it unfair that ice is only resistant to itself, it also makes no sense. Now most type matchups make total sense. But ice is neutral to so many types it shouldn't be neutral to but instead resistant to. Now there's one thing that you need to keep in mind. It's not simply the fact that ice types are as snow. If that was the case, ice wouldn't be weak against fighting. You also need to take into consideration that thick snow exists. With that in mind, here are a lot of types I should be resistant to and my reasons as to why they should be. The first type that I'm going to point out that they should be resistant to is grass. Now grass is weak to ice. But is there any good reason why ice shouldn't be resistant to grass? No, there is not. You see, you can't really grow a plant on thick ice. And when a plant grows into thick ice, well, it will most likely freeze. So yeah, ice should be resistant to grass since that's very logical. Also, you know what rock and steel are known for is the fact that they are very defensive types. And they don't mean the fact that most Pokemon of that type have high defense stats, even though it's partly true. I am more referring to the fact that something made out of steel as well as rocks are very fucking heavy. I mean, if you are somebody with ordinary strength and no super strength, and you try to harm a rock or something made out of steel, you will really do nothing at all and will end hurting yourself in progress. And same happens when you do that to thick ice. And because of that, ice types should also be resistant to normal. Speaking of steel and rock, these types are also resistant to flying type moves. That's because if a bird attacks a rock or something made out of steel at full speed, they will end up hurting themselves in the progress. And they should also hurt themselves if they do the same with thick guys. So yeah, ice types should also be resistant to flying type because of that. Now I also think that ice types should be resistant to water. Now water types are resistant to ice type moves and I don't see why it shouldn't be the other way around as well. Now some of you might make the argument that if you put an ice cube into a glass of water the ice cube will melt. But I would make the argument that it isn't really the ice cube itself that melts. I would say that the ice cube melts because of the heat in the room. I mean if you put a glass of water into a fridge that has ice cube in it, I'm sure that it wouldn't melt. So yeah, 
A similar thing happens when I put a glass of coke along with ice cube. But if a bunch of fucking water comes down in a very cold cave, of course that's not gonna do anything. So here I should be resistant to water. As for ground and dragon, well I don't care that they are neutral against ice. Because quite frankly I can't really think of any logical reason as to why ice should be resistant to those two types. So anyway, yeah, there you have it. Now do I think that all of those types that I mentioned should be resistant to ice? Of course not. If ice was resistant to all the types I mentioned, it would be fucking overkill. But it should be resistant to at least two of the types that I mentioned. That would make the most logical sense. I really hope that the makers of the game are watching this video and will take what I said into consideration. Because the ice type fucking desperately needs help. And this fucking desperately needs help as soon as possible. Because as long as ice is only resistant to itself, more people are gonna use a water type Pokemon instead of an ice type Pokemon to use attacking ice type moves. And again, I don't blame them. Well guys, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching and have a great day.